then the S83. And we are gonna do something new again today. Today I'm gonna do a comment video. A comment video to a Christian's response to the Orlando shooting. Uh, yeah. Let's, it's fun to do something new, right? Okay, so let's go. Hey everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. Hello. And I just wanted to record a quick video about the news this morning about the shooting in Orlando. I guess a, a Muslim terrorist went into a gay bar and shot him up and um, there's 50 uh, sodomites, homosexuals that have been killed. Yes. <clears throat> uh, why do you call it a gay bar but you, the people in there are sodomites? Uh... A gay friend of mine told me that one-fourth of the gay people don't actually even have anal sex. Just so you know. Not that you care. I'm just saying. And the point is, you're obviously doing this to be inflammatory, aren't you? You're calling them sodomites. Just to be bigoted. Just to be cruel. This has nothing to do with your message, is it? It's just... Sodomites for the sake of being cruel and vulgar. Okay. And another 50 some odd injured. And then the uh, the Muslim guy himself was, was shot by the police, it sounds like. Yes, you really, you really done some research on this one. And here's the good news and the bad news about this. You know, the good news is that there's 50 less pedophiles in this world because you know, these homosexuals are a bunch of disgusting perverts and pedophiles. Okay. Uh, this is why I made this comment video. It is, I haven't actually watched the rest of the video. Uh, I just saw this one. Uh, and this is why I wanted to make it. Because I wanted to make clear to this guy a thing that I thought was pretty obvious. Gay people aren't pedophiles. Necessarily. There are gay pedophiles and there are straight pedophiles. There are uh, pedophiles uh, molesting uh, people of same sex and the opposite sex. It's more destructive. Uh, it's more destructive and uh, I thought that was pretty obvious. That uh, gay people are not the same as pedophiles. Now you may think they are perverts, that's fine and dandy. Freedom of expression. But it would be nice if you actually knew the difference between having sex with consensual adults and children. Just like having sex with humans and animals. There are differences. Real differences that I really thought was apparent here. Yes, let's see what else this guy has thought of. That's who was a victim here, are a bunch of just disgusting homosexuals at a gay bar, okay? Yeah, I get it. You don't like gay people. But the, the bad news is that this is now going to be used, I'm sure, to push for gun control where, you know, law-abiding normal Americans are not going to be allowed to have guns for self-defense. So this, uh, uh, this is also very fascinating that you say because... You don't seem to have the metacognition here to realize that you are in fact being used to also strengthen a third certain narrative, aren't you? You stupid motherfucker. You are a tool yourself. You know, I, I, I did not Google Christian conservative dark lords opinions on gays. I don't really give a flying fuck what you guys think. But I found it on the Young Turks. The young Turk to just love bashing Christians. Oh, finally, some other stupid motherfucking Christian decided to say something stupid. You are just, you, you just made it worse, you goddamn stupid mo- For self-defense. And then I'm sure it's also going to be used to push an agenda against so-called hate speech. Speech. Yes. Probably. And you did not do anything better by it. I can tell you that. So Bible-believing Christian preachers who preach what the Bible actually says about homosexuality, that it's vile, that it's disgusting, that they're reprobates, you know. But they do not say that gays are pedophiles, do they? No, 
They do not. Now, I'm not a Bible scholar, but I'm pretty sure that they stink between pedophilia and homosexuality. In fact, I don't think they mention pedophilia at all, which is actually why <laughs> Catholics... <laughs> yeah, that was a cheap one. Sorry, sorry. We're going to be blamed. Like, oh, it's, it's, it's all extremism. It's not just the Muslims, it's the Christians. I'm sure... Yes, exactly. You just made that very apparent, didn't you? You... Oh. That that's coming. I'm sure that people are going to start attacking, you know, Bible-believing Christians now. Yes, they did. The Young Turks did. Because of your video. Because of what this guy did. Oh, because of you. I've never advocated for violence. I don't believe in, you know, um, taking the law into our own hands. Uh, yes. Uh, taking the law in your own hands. Uh, I don't think killing gay people is taking the law in your own hands. Okay? If you're gonna be a bigot, fine. If you're gonna use freedom of expression, fine. But please know that people are watching. I would never go in and, and, and um, you know, shoot up a, a gay bar. Good for you. Good for you! So-called. Um, I don't believe it's right for us to just be a vigilante. <laughs> you call shooting up gay people in a or bar vigilantism? What kind of sick weird are you? We're supposed to obey the law of the land and obey the powers that be, so... Exactly. But vigilantism, I don't, I don't think you know what that word means. It's not, it's not the same as, you know, Batman is not a vigilante because he kills gay people or black people or whatever. <laughs> He's a vigilante because he actually tries to stop crime. And there has been no crime committed when two adults do something with their bodies. And obey the powers of the beast. So I would never take things into my own hands or become a vigilante. Oh, thank God, huh? <laughs> How nice of you to say. I was worried there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, the level of craziness. But I will say this, you know, the Bible says that homosexuals should be put to death in Leviticus 20:13. Yes. They do say that, don't they? Uh, they do say that, don't they? So you're actually saying that Christians should kill gay people. <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay. Uh, first off, I think what we ought to do is actually find the scripture notes. You know, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna look it up in the Bible. Leviticus 18.22 states, Do not have sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman. That is detestable. And of course there are different uh, writings of it, like do not practice homosexuality, having sex with another man as with a woman. It is a detestable sin. That's New Living Translation. And then you have uh, King James Bible. Thou shalt not lie with a mankind, with mankind, as with womankind. It is abomination. So you see there are different uh, writings of it, which is kind of relevant really, but okay. The next one is... Uh, 2013. If a man has sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman, both of them have done what is detestable. They are to be put to death. Their blood will be on their own hands. Okay. <laughs> I think this is a scripture part he is uh, talking about. Wow. Uh, how, what? What can be said about that? Because it actually does state pretty much that they are to be put to death. The thing is, the reason why people are, aren't doing it is because we are Christians, okay? 
the Old Testament still applies, but there have been modifications, okay? And also, I'm, I don't think the Jews killed the gays too. I, I really don't. I, I can't say I remember ever hearing it at least, that that was the norm, that uh, uh, they stoned gay people. I haven't heard it at least. And the Jews follow the Old Testament, the Christians follow the Old and the New Testament. Okay? Uh, let's see if there's any other ones that may clear up what is actually stated here. New Living Translation. If a man practices homosexuality, having sex with another man as with a woman, both men have committed a detestable act. They must be put to death, for they are guilty of a capital offense. Jeez Louise. <laughs> oh my god. If a man wants to lie with a mankind as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. I'm not a Bible scholar at all, but it does seem like the death of the gay will be because of themselves. Like with their own hands, the blood will be on their hands. Their head. The, my interpretation, at least, is that they will die because of their acts. Uh, I don't want to be one of those crazy people who says AIDS is the punishment of homosexuality, but that's at least closer to the idea I get from it that they will die because of their choices, not that other people should kill them. Now, let's go to the next one. Okay, do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor idolizers, nor effeminate, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> nor homosexuals, nor thieves, nor the covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Okay. Uh, that's the next one. And the last one is Romans. For this reason God gave them over to the degrading passions. For their women exchanged the natural functions for what is unnatural. And in the same way also the men abandoned the natural functions of the women. And burned in their desire towards one another. With men with men committing indecent acts and receiving in their own person the due penalty of their errors. Okay, so if you didn't pay attention here, three out of four of the quotes I had mentioned seem to imply that the penalty of gay being gay is its own punishment. Not to be confused with actually killing them. Okay. So now that we've ever read all the quotes that I know of in the Bible that states that homosexuality is a sin, so I'm not disputing that at all. Uh, of course, this crazy motherfucker uh, decided that the most important one was the one where they actually said they're gonna kill them. No, it should be put to death. I think it's very important to point out it should be put to death. And, uh, the thing is, if you study the Bible, you should probably know of the story of the woman who was caught uh, being unfaithful, right? John something or other. Now this story probably doesn't matter to this fucker, but I think that's one of the most interesting stories in the Bible, and I also think that... Um, it's relevant here, and that's the woman was going to be stoned because in the Bible it says, if you're unfaithful, you should be stoned. Uh, and then Jesus came around and he said, let the one without sin throw the first rock. And the moral of the story was, no one was without sin, was it? Right. So, uh, I usually come back to that one when people are talking crazy nonsense like this. Is homosexuality a sin? Yes. But if you read the Old Testament, you will see that there is a lot of things that are sins. And I'm pretty sure if I follow this 
a guy around, I would find he, some sins that he should be probably put to death himself. You're working on the Sabbath, are you? Yes, I'm doing some Christian work. Oh, boy, you know the rules, right? So, uh, yeah, this guy freaks me out. He really does. Let's see what else he has to say. Shoot up the place because that's not going through the proper channels. But these people all should have been killed anyway. <laughs> oh my god. It seems like he implies that he wants the government to kill gay people. <laughs> That's the proper channel. Oh my god. Oh. But they should have been killed through the proper channels, as in, they should have been executed by a righteous government. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> they should have been killed through the proper channels, as in, they should have been executed by a righteous government that would, that would have <laughs> tried them, convicted them, and saw them executed because in Leviticus 2013, God's perfect law, he put the death penalty on murder and he also put the death penalty on homosexuality. That's what the Bible says. You goddamn plain and simple. No, it's not plain and simple, you goddamn stupid ass. This is not plain and simple, you freaking fucking crazy. <sighs> it's fine that you see gays as a sin. But to actually state this, it's so way off. That I have to ask the question, are you doing the devil's work here? Is that you, you, what you want? This, this is so off the planet, it has nothing to do with Christianity. Fine, there is one part of the Bible that says, should be put to death. That does not mean that, you, <laughs> that we should make a government killing gay people. What kind of evil bastard are you? I mean, what kind of person says this? It's so way off! The only thing this could possibly do is make people turn atheists. In fact, I... I don't want to call myself a Christian if this is what Christianity represents. There is one part of the Bible, one part, one sentence that says should be put to death. The rest of them does not say that. It says it is a sin. And I'm pretty sure if in this utopian Christian dictatorship that you are envisioning, you will be put to death for sins too. I'm pretty sure I have this strong sensation that you don't have control over your dick as well. You know, I, I can smell it that you have justified some infidelity, some lying, perhaps thieving, you know. I can sense it. You are not a, a righteous person yourself. And there are plenty of places in the Bible warning us of people like you. Of course, I haven't memorized it, but I know there's a part of the Bible that says, who are you to look at the grain in your brother's eyes when yourself have a plank or something? And all the hypocrisy. You have no idea how many places in the, the Bible, or per perhaps you have, but you've ignored it. The level of hypocrisy. The level of hypocrisy that Jesus talks about. And now you come around pointing out the one sentence in the Bible that can be interpreted as, yes, Christians should kill gay people. That it does stay there, but it's one place, and Jesus didn't say it. And this part of the Bible, Leviticus, has a lot of rules. Now, I mean, do you eat pork? Huh? Do you work at the Sabbath? And you're probably one of those people who actually yeah, think the Sabbath is on Sunday, but it isn't. The Sabbath is on Saturday. 
So if you're working on Saturday, you're committing crime! The most important rules of the Bible are the Ten Commandments. The rest of the laws of the Bible, except for the ones given by Jesus, are uncertain whether or not comes directly from God. If you believe in the Bible. That one sentence is said by who? Is it said by God? Is it said by Moses? Is it said by somebody else? Who wrote that one sentence that you think is so goddamn important? Put to death. Killing is a crime. That's like the third commandment or something. Thou shalt not have any other, you know, no gods but me and then you should keep the Sabbath holy and then thou shalt not kill. Isn't that correct? Or am I remembering it wrongly? Now you, as a horrible person, seem to imply that it's justified to kill gay people if it's due process. That's, that's evil! I am a Christian and I can see this as pure evil. Not only is it evil, it's insane. Because I'm a Christian. That means that whatever Jesus says takes precedence over whatever was implied said in the Bible, Old Testament. And I don't actually think that whatever well, the case, whatever, whatever, actually means what you are saying it should mean. But I do know that it's also said in the New Testament, you have learned an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, but I say to you, turn the other cheek. Meaning that not all of the laws of the Bible uh, needs to be followed to the teeth. There are reasons why it's written in the Old Testament and there are reasons why there are declarations in the new one. And uh, so, uh, you know, the good news is that at least 50 of these pedophiles... They, again, they are not pedophiles! There's a difference between having sex with a woman, having sex with a man, having sex with a dog, and having sex with a child! There are different acts! You should distinct between them! ...are, are not going to be harming children anymore. How do you know if any of these 50 people actually did any harm to the children, you goddamn? The bad news is that a, a, lot of, uh, a lot of the homos in the bar are still alive, so they're going to continue to molest children and, and recruit people into their filthy homosexual lifestyle. I, I am actually kind of speechless now. Uh, <laughs> wow. This man really wants to put the nail into the... He really wants to hit it in. His message. I If I had... Unlimited resources. I think what I would have done now is actually find where this person lives not, not threatening him and follow his life throughout a month and see all of the sins he did and then judge him according to Leviticus and see what, how, how well he would fare. That's what I want to do if I had unlimited resources. I'd have someone Follow him a month, knowing every law of the Leviticus. See if he eats pork, see if he works on the Sabbath, and the Sabbath should be Saturday, not Sunday. Uh, see if he uh, takes the Lord's name ever in vain. See if he gives any impression of uh, wanting another one man's wife. See if he uh, uh, 
has any jealousy towards anybody else, and then judge accordingly. And I'm pretty sure he would get stoned. And I'm not talking about weed, I'm talking about rocks to the head. You cannot say these things and not be condemned by your hatred. This is not Christian at all. I acknowledge it does say one sentence should be put to death. There, there are plenty of places in the Bible mentioning gays. Only one place is it said they should be put to death. And it does not necessarily mean what you think it means. Because according to Christianity, death can also mean non-eternal life. But of course this is theology. And I'm not very, I'm not a Bible scholar at all. What I do know is that this is so reprehensible, this is so cruel and vicious and evil that it makes my skin cringe. I did not know you would actually say this. I knew, I thought you would like... This is so deep down the rabbit hole. I, I did not know you were going here. Okay? You are a vile person. And I think I should quote a, bit, a scripture as well. Matthew 17, 15. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but, in, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. You are a ferocious wolf. If you do want to make a, a donation to our church, uh, you're just going to have to mail it to the church address. You're just going to have to mail a check for now. Big time, major league bullshit. You have to stand in awe. He needs money. <laughs> he always needs money. Yeah, I, I have to wonder, why does he need money? I mean, I say big things every day and I do it for free. Get a job, you lazy bum! You are porn bushes and sithles. You're not making gay people come back to the church, repenting their sins, changing their lives. In fact, you're probably making more Christi uh, Christians become atheists. You know, there's a cliche on the internet that you, sir, are worse than Hitler. But what you are actually stating is, or at least as bad. I did not expect you to actually say these things. Uh, <laughs> I did not. You're a horrible person. And then the other bad news is that this is going to now be used as propaganda, not only against Muslims, but also against Christians. Yes. You made... You, you are the worst that could happen to Christianity, okay? You are. And of course, Islam is a wicked religion. Of course, it's a disgusting religion. Of course, uh, how how is the, the 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 Muslim religion worse than Christianity? If you're actually saying that what they are doing right now is correct. They are killing gays. And I'm pretty sure they're doing some kind of righteous ceremony beforehand, judging whether or not they have pieces under their foreskin. Before they're throwing them off the, the roof. I've never in my life. Of course the Quran is false. But the media makes a big deal out of stuff like this. And it's just, it, it's perfect. I mean, the devil, the devil loves this incident because... I think you are the devil. Or at least one of his servants. I, perhaps in your screwed up little head, you think you're doing God's work. 
most crazy people do. It's perfect for him because now he can push his agenda of, oh, we need to love homos and stop being hateful. It's not a question about loving or not loving homos. The question here is, <laughs> is it okay to kill people for putting their penises in the wrong hole? And the answer to that for any sane person would be no. I don't care if you're Christian, Muslim, Jew, Buddhist, Hindu or atheist. If you think a person having sex with another person in the wrong hole should equal death penalty, you are insane. You should be locked up. For treatment. Violence that are provoked. Even though I've never heard any Bible-believing Christian preacher say that we should take things into our own hands and, and, and execute the wicked. You know. No, but you see, you know, it's fine. But you're saying the thing that's problematic here. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. The thing that's fucked up here is not that there aren't any Christians saying you should kill Christian uh, homosexuals in the street. The problem here is that you actually say that it's okay if the government does it. That is Hitler. That is pure Hitler. All, all, all I preach and all that any other, you know, Bible preacher have ever said about it is that it should be against the law to be homosexual, which it was against the law until 2003 in the U.S. You not only are you defending that homosexuality should be a crime, again, that is an opinion that I think you should have, be allowed to have. But what you're saying that is the real problem is what the crime punishment for the crime should be, and that is capital punishment. That is the problem here, far beyond. You actually think, yeah, oh, homosexuality should have a fine or whatever. I don't care about that. That that is not a problem in and of itself. An opinion that we may or may not agree on. I don't agree on that. But the point is, you should be allowed to have that type of opinion. But when you actually are implying or downright saying that they should be killed, I never heard it before, and it fucks up. And that, you know, Leviticus 20.13 is still God's word. Yes. And so is all the other pages of the Bible. So, anyway, those are my thoughts on this attack. I'm not sad about it. I'm not going to cry about it. No, you, you, you seem pretty, pretty... Uh, you don't need to say that. Uh, it's pretty clear that you have no intention of crying about this. Because these people were going to die. These 50 people in the gay bar that got shut up, they were going to die of AIDS and syphilis and, and whatever else. Uh, some of them may, and some of them may not. And some of them may actually, uh, quote-unquote, recognize the error of their ways and regret and turn to Jesus. You know, you goddamn idiot! They were all going to die early anyway, because homosexuals have a 20-year shorter lifespan than, than normal people anyway. And I'm sure you use science for that. Just like you use science to explain uh, evolution or some stuff like that. <clears throat> and, you know, at least, at least these dangerous predators. Again, gays are not pedophiles. These dangerous, filthy pedophiles at this, at this gay bar. You keep hammering it in, but I'm keep... Okay, I kind of forgot that he actually like, can't hear me. <laughs> Stating the same things over and over again doesn't make it true. If you're wrong the first time, you're wrong the tenth time. At least they're off the streets, you know. So I'm just trying to look on the bright side, you know. Yes. I, I will do that if you ever get shot to you, okay? I will look on the bright side as well. The bright side of life. One less satanic Christian working for the devil. To estrange people from love. Whatever love is. I don't know what God thinks of gays. And neither do you. You 
You horrible person, you. But again, you know, I don't condone uh, vigilanteism. It is not vigilantism to kill somebody because you don't agree with their life choices. That is villainy. So anyway, I just wanted to give you my thoughts, and um, God bless you. Have a great day. Thank you. Hey, everybody, Pastor. Thank you so much for giving me your blessing. You are the worst. I ain't saying I beat the devil. And um, God bless you. Have a great day.